Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing you another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about whether or not selling firewood is an essential job for the times that we are living in right now. <clears throat> and I don't even wanna say what it is that we're facing because YouTube will shut the video down or not show it to anybody, so I'm not even gonna say the word. But you all know what it is. Before I get to that, I just wanted to let you know, if this is your first time here, I uh, have two firewood channels. This is Joe's Firewood Videos 2. My other channel's called Joe's Firewood Videos. On this channel, I usually make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and uh, release them around four or five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then my other channel, I usually do Sunday morning live streams. And once in a while, I'll make a normal video like this. Just check them out. Got over 700 videos. If you like what you see, please uh, consider subscribing and smashing the like button. Thank you. Okay, this probably is going to be a very long video compared to my normal ones. But the, the, um, the governor of Michigan and, and pretty much every state and country out there has put basically a travel ban and only essential workers are allowed to continue working but it's kind of vague you know and uh it, i looked at the chart that our governor sent and uh, one of the listings was under energy and i believe that firewood sales should fall under that so i believe that selling firewood is an essential job um i'd like to know what you guys think do you think it's essential let me know in the comments but let me let me give you my case of why I think it is. People, there are still millions of people to this day that heat their homes with firewood and would freeze if they don't have it. And we live in a cold state. It's like 45 degrees out right now. The wind's blowing. So there are people that need to heat their house with firewood. Now, most of my customers burn for pleasure or for ambience. So we won't get into that. How, if the cops pulled me over and said, well, where are you going? Papers, please. And uh, are you essential? Well, th these people freeze us. No, not really. Unless their power's out. You know, firewood could also be a backup heat source for people that burn just to watch it burn. But I also have um, three restaurants that buy from me for their meat smoking wood. And the restaurants are essential, so they need to be fueled with my cherry and hickory. So that that counts. Now we're coming into uh, camping season, and I sell a lot of bundles to a campground nearby, plus the store. And uh, who's to say they're not going to be using it to heat themselves with? So th those sales should be picking up real soon if... It, it, the ban, you know, it, once things start to return to normal. But like I say, I personally feel it should be considered essential. And I don't have the money. And, and I, I probably won't get Trump's $1,200 check. And uh, now last week I sold three truckloads, but I also bought wood from people. And uh, <clears throat> so I'm barely making it. But as long as I can sell at least one truckload a week, I can get by. Um the other thing too, a uh, firewood, it, everybody talks about social distancing. This is a perfect job for social distancing. If you watched my live stream yesterday, I drove 30 miles in my truck with nobody to Eric's house. Then I cut this load of cherry and ash all by myself, as you've seen in the video, the people that watched it. Then I drove back here and uh, what I'm about to do now is split this all by myself this cherry and that's going to be the next video i'm going to publish on my other channel tomorrow so i didn't come into contact with anybody then when i go to deliver what i've been doing recently with this uh whole catastrophe that's going on a lot of times the customer will just paypal me i never see them i back into their garage or in their driveway wherever the wood goes and i throw it out i wear gloves throw it out then I leave and I never come in any contact with a customer. Then I drive back here. The only time I have ever that I come into contact with people right now 
is when I have to stop at the gas station. And those people are determined, determined as essential workers. So, like I said, I, <clears throat> I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Just trying to survive out here, just like the rest of you. Eventually, we're going to get through this. I, I, I hope and pray that we are. And uh, I, that's pretty much I got to say about it. So, why don't you check out some of these uh, videos here at the end. Everybody stay safe out there. And we'll see you guys at the next one.